So you all know who Anthony Fantano is, right? The internet's busiest music nerd. Oh my God. Well, he's a phony, a fake, and a fraud. Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. Today, we're talking about Anthony Fantano. I'm sure all of you are a fan of him to some degree, but I have to expose him. I have to, because there's this story right now going around it, and it started on TikTok, okay? So on TikTok, there was a story about this Redditor who talked about how he and his girlfriend were in love, and they were doing the sex. And while doing the sex, he used to have sex to the song called Sea Bat by Hudson Mohawk. Now, once you listen to this song, you begin to realize why this is so ridiculous. In fact, here's some of the song right now. <laughs> so yes, that song right there is the song that this young man uh, would would have the sex to, okay? And it's disturbing enough to realize that his girlfriend had to withstand that. Uh, he used to pump to the rhythm, by the way. So you, you heard the song, right? Who could possibly pump to that rhythm? I have no idea. Anthony Fantano actually did a review on this song some years ago. That's right. Anthony Fantano gave it a, a seven. A seven, it's a moderate score, he enjoyed it. And in fact, here's some of Anthony Fantano's words right now. Before this dude kind of takes the track off-roading through the mud, this filthy, heavy, dirty beat comes in with these weeping synthesizers hitting the tempo kind of awkwardly and is something I could totally see Little B spitting on if you're watching this video. See bat, please. Now, I want you to notice how excited he is to talk about it. I want you to notice how his body language, he's leaning into this conversation about Seabat by Hudson Mohawk. He almost seems to enjoy the song a little too much. I feel like him giving it a seven was a way to throw off the scent. And then of course, years later, somebody writes a post about how he used to have sex with his girlfriend while listening to this song. Oh, not to mention just his girlfriend, but other partners who he claims nobody complained by the way, but I'm sure someone did. Finally, his his girlfriend had enough though and said that she could no longer have relations with him to that song and even when the song was off he was still pumping to the rhythm now that's just sad now as i was watching anthony fantano give this review i noticed he was excited about it he was glowing about it he he couldn't get enough of this song it it, it was just it was inside of him it was outside of him it was within him and then, of course, after the song goes viral and this Reddit post goes viral, here he is having to defend the song. That's right. He goes out of his way to make a video on YouTube defending this song from the haters. Listen to this. What you have read on the Internet, it's true. I enjoyed the Hudson Mohawk song, Sea Bat. I mean, yeah, yeah, Hudson Mohawk, Sea Bat, off of his uh, Satin Panthers EP. I enjoyed it and uh, had a really good time listening to it, especially when I reviewed it. Now, I mean, <laughs> please, please give me a break here. Please be understanding. This was over 10 years ago that I did this. I quite frankly have never seen a grown man defend a song as hard as him. And it got me thinking. I believe Anthony Fantano is the author of said Reddit post. That's right. I said it. I'm calling Anthony Fantano out because it's about time that he tells the truth. And it's about time that somebody exposed Anthony Fantano. Okay? Logic already did it. And now it's my turn, okay? Anthony Fantano is a big old fat liar. This guy sat on this video acting as if he has no idea why people are hating on the song. He has he does he just doesn't understand why everyone is 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 getting on top of this guy's head. I mean, he even goes to almost defend the guy in a way where he's like, well, you know, the song isn't for effing, but it's an effing good song. <laughs> Dad joke. Like, listen, dude. It's you. We know you're the guy who posted that Reddit post. It's okay. We recognize that you love that song. And and listen, there are some out there who love the song too. But for you to act like you're not the guy who wrote that post is quite frankly insane. Okay? And, and again, I'm here to expose the truth because no one else seems to want to do it. This post right here where he is defending the song really gets you to understand how much in love he is with this music. You know the reason why he said this? I do try to keep my personal life offline because I, I don't make that uh, uh, thing so much. I don't feel like it's uh, most people's business. The reason why he doesn't want you getting so deep into his personal life, not it, it's not just because he doesn't want you swatting him or threatening his family. No, 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 no. 
It's something more important than that. He doesn't want you going around his personal contacts and finding out that he is the Redditor. He's the guy who posted that he was having the sex to see bat by Hudson Mohawk. Okay, his career would crumble upon his head if people found out that he was having sex to that song with a girlfriend, a longtime girlfriend at that, and not just one partner, but multiple partners over multiple years. Jesus Christ, it's about time that he comes out and just accepts the fact that it was him. Please, I, I would almost prefer that he would just go ahead and say it was him because now it's burning me up on the inside. Anthony Fantano, if you're watching this video, there are people out there who are suffering from the same thing that you suffer from, okay? The way that you have this cognitive dissonance about the situation you were in, there are plenty of guys and even women and even theys and thems who have sex to songs that are just not good for lovemaking. And it's not that embarrassing, buddy. It's okay to come out and admit that you were the Redditor. You were the guy who posted that, and that's okay. Please, Anthony, for the sake of your career, everyone at this point, every conspiracy theorist and, and casual listener of your channel are recognizing that you, sir, you're exposing yourself without even knowing it. You are the Redditor, it was you. Here at Song Theory, we started to connect some dots. We recognized the way that Anthony speaks is very particular, and we noticed that in the Redditor's post, he spoke very similar to the way that Anthony does. It, it's almost like a one-to-one -one comparison. It's almost like the Redditor post is Anthony speaking. We recognize also that some timelines also match up as well. We did some digging on some ages and some things like that, and, and they all line up. Anthony, it's time to come out and tell the truth. And anybody who's watching who's a fan of Anthony, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. I mean, it hurts me to tell you probably as much as it does to listen to me saying this, but Anthony is refusing to tell the truth, so I am here to expose him for the liar and the trickster that he is. Don't let those glasses fool you and those thick thighs, those thick thighs, don't let them fool you. Anthony is a liar. Subscribe.